All right, this is Eternal King bringing you another deck tech. Um, almost like a continuation of our discussion on deck targets. Um, when before, you know, our aggro deck, um, uh, you know, jokingly entitled What Are You Doing, was kind of targeting um, value grindy decks um, that are unsustainable. Uh, this is our mid range punish. So when people start realizing that you're running aggro, um, they'll go mid range, has a good matchup into aggro. Um, and then, yeah, you can basically pre uh, counter a second time by going ramp. So this uh, particular list I want to show you um, did get me to uh, diamond, so it is pretty high on the competitive scale. Uh, three, three sisters, three blue sentinels, three faces of the old one. Um, so you know, very ramp heavy. One kindly tavern keeper for the heal. Uh, Winter's touch. It's you know kind of the only reliable draw in a ramp deck. Plus it's more ramp. Catalyst, best ramp card. Harsh Winds, pretty obvious. Trundle, uh, Wild Mysticism, If the Stairs, um, Burden and Ice, A Soul, She Who Wanders, and then Feel the Rush. So pretty pretty standard ramp shell. Um, and this is, again, what you want to be thinking when you're building these meme decks that are not just memes, but actually sustainable uh, ladder brews. Um, what is the matchup you're targeting? Why does your deck exist? So again, the aggro exists to punish meme decks. Um, the ramp exists to punish kind of mid-range decks. Um, and you want to be thinking the same thing when you're when you're brewing your own lists. Uh, I think increasingly people will kind of understand why it is that uh, my unconventional way of playing LOR has seen you know mainstream ladder success. Uh, people don't really seem to understand it. They seem to be offended by it. Um, I'll always be kind of on the fringes of, of uh, you know, uh, the game space, but again, I'm fine being on the fringes, that's where the best work gets done. Uh, so yeah, you know, a little bit of ramp, uh, give it a shot. There's uh, several different types. There's the traditional Feel the Rush style, which is, you know, predominant, you know, usually the strongest kind. Um, and then there's slightly the newer version on the table, which is kind of your Dragon Ramp lists. Uh, in general, I find Age of Dragons to be less reliable. Like, yeah, you're going to have those games where you get the, the A-Soul into the free AoE, and that's going to feel great. And then you're going to have games where you don't pull that, and it's not going to feel as good. But uh, yeah, give that one a shot, too, if you want Age of Dragons. Uh, once again, this is the Eternal King signing out.